Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series of The Outer Worlds. So this is a game gifted to me by a good friend of mine and this will replace our Monday shooter slot after we have just completed uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Uh, so I don't know too much about this game other than it deals with certain themes such as uh, late stage capitalism and a lot of people who worked on certain Fallout titles worked on this passion project and I know this is something that they put a lot of effort and time into and so I've heard nothing but good things about this game, so I'm really excited to try this out. And uh, just looking at this main loading menu uh, screen, it just... The animation and the music are really intriguing, and it kind of reminds me of the old TV show Firefly. Um, but that's all I have to say for now, so without further ado, let's dive right back in. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. Oh, look at that. A trip of ten short years like will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Colony ship hope found drifting. Determination hope to be left at edge of colony. Alert breach of hope security corridor unidentified ship. So even though I have the subtitles turned on for this game, I hope it's kind of like what Resident Evil 2 does, where they will keep these subtitles on maybe like one second after the spoken character has delivered the line. So like, if I want to grab. You know, like a screenshot for a YouTube thumbnail, I'll have that opportunity to do so. Oh, look at this guy. Vinny's Vernon Vells. Status fugitive wanted by Halcyon. Holding board or something. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, it is. Just lingering there for like a second. Okay, points remaining. Let's see. Body, mind, personality, charm, temperament. Temperament improves your natural health regeneration. Um, that's pretty important for combat. Charm effects, faction reputation, and companion ability cooldown. Let's do one good. Um, perception. Perception affects headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Um, that's okay. Intelligence affects critical hit bonus damage. Critical hit bonus. Mm, let's do one into perception then. At least one point in every category of body, mind, and personality. Dexterity affects melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speed. That sounds interesting. Effect. Uh, strength affects melee weapon damage and the amount you can carry. Okay. And the amount you can carry. Carrying capacity. That's very important. Um, just because, like, I end up carrying a lot of stuff in most of my games. I'm not very good at, like, inventory management. Uh, improves your natural health regeneration. Let's definitely crank up everything... Can I? Can I? Ooh. I bet you could thaw yourself with sheer rage. Can I give myself an you extra took point? A few blows to the brain pan. Oh wow! What if Some I just? Some people are rough around the edges. You're serrated. What if I just like put everything into charm? This one had a uh, what are those called again? Social life. Huh. Interesting. Well, I don't want to be below average in anything. So <laughs> let's start over. Temperament is natural health regeneration, which sounds good for combat, so let's do one. Definitely one for charm. Perception, headshot, and weak spot damage bonuses. I guess we'll do one. Intelligence, critical hit bonus damage. So what constitutes a critical hit? Is that a headshot and a weak spot? But then, these are two separate categories, so... Critical hit, I guess... Every weapon has like a critical chance, maybe? 
Uh, dexterity is attack speed and ranged weapon reload. Definitely one here. Let's do high charm. And then our last thing we can either put into intelligence or dexterity. Let's do dexterity. Oh, wait, two more points? Oh, okay. Skills is an entirely new thing. So, melee... How do I upgrade stuff here? I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. I see, okay. So, leadership skills improve companion health and their abilities in combat. Okay, tech improves your knowledge of bodies, tools, and the universe. Stealth improves your ability to get through and around security. Dialogue improves your ability to talk to NPCs both in and out of combat. I like that. I hope we haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite. Especially in a RPG type where you're doing a lot of talking with the characters around you. Dialogue is always a, an important tool to have. Defense skills improve your ability to avoid damage. Ranged. Ranged skills improve your weapon sway and critical hit chance with ranged weapons. Ah, okay. I do like ranged weapons. Yeah. A gunslinger. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. Aptitude. No discernible. Oh, you, I guess you just The board is replacing one. you with vending machines, Sub you know? Sub-sous chef? The hierarchy of a modern kitchen is a ladder of many rungs. Your role as assistant to the security deputy's chef aide is one of middling distinction, but you are honored to pour your heart into the ritual emptying of grease pans and the back-breaking labor of gravy restoration. You're holding out for that advancement to poultry inspection, which is due any year now. Whew. Assistant scien scientist assistant. Level zero, class A. Okay, so... This is kind of like choosing your your uh, your background. Like like let's say uh, you're starting a new game with Mass Effect. Like, are you a colonist? Are you, you know, did you survive like a Marauder raid? You know, so drink effect duration. I'm just gonna look at the the bonuses for now. Dodge, and raid damage, food effect duration, corrosion, inspiration, medical. No discernible aptitude. Colonist sounds like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halicyon. Um, Tossball team mascot. That's funny. Farmer. Factory worker. Cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory. Come back soon. Come back real soon. Bye bye now. <laughs> this is. I shouldn't be spending so much time here, but this is like building your character and everything. Um. Let's go. You're with better off without an indenturement contract. One-handed. I'm not a really big melee guy. Science, not really. Plasma damage received, nah. Medical, nah. Inspiration sounds nice. I don't know what that entails, really. I think I'm leaning towards inspiration or determination. I'm gonna go with mascot because that's not the cute. circus time clowns. I hope. Eh. Gender, am I a female or a male? Well, I do like playing as a girl. Cool. Let's say, oh, this is going to be like an entire episode. <laughs> okay. How many faces can we cycle through? So there's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hmm. This, this looks like pretty like... Like, you look like a soldier or someone, like, very, like, sharp-witted. This looks like a more friendly face. This is, like, more of an average face. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of this face. This looks like an older person. This looks like a nice person. 
the friend that you would have in your group. Um, very serious person. Getting like doctor vibes or like a scientist. This is like a uh, like a football player, like a motherly figure face. Uh, not a fan of that one. Let's go to one. One looks pretty good. Skin tone. Okay. Do I want to be... Well, I myself am pretty tan. So let's look for something... No, this is really pale. The number one looks pretty good. I could see myself being... One or four? What's the difference? Four... Ten? One? Ten. Eye color! Can we zoom in on your eyes? Afraid not. Ooh, look at those. Alright. Let's go all the way over here. So we have alien looking eyes. Um... <laughs> JRPG eyes, uh, vampire eyes, um, like Soul Reaper eyes, like a Mass Effect blue eyes. Those are nice. Ooh, this is pretty cool too. Green, like space adventurer. This is also very pretty. White looks is a bit intimidating. This is like natural red, magenta, green. Hazel. This looks interesting too. Not as intimidating as like the pure white. This looks to be, I think, brown. Well, this is brown, but... Okay, so I definitely want to be like blue. So this is like a turquoise color blue. There was also this, like, this green. This looks a bit fake. Uh, where was that other blue? So, 22. Yeah, let's go with 22. Uh, brow horizontal. This looks like, this is like a softer face. This is like more like stern focused. I think, um, maybe around over here. Brow forward. That looks nice. Brow vertical. Keep it there. Horizontal. Do I want to be like... Eh, that looks definitely weird. This looks like a nice balance. Eye size. Do I want to have small eyes or like big ol' anime eyes? That looks good. Vertical. Oh no. Oh no. That looks good. Average. Jaw. Small. That looks good. Mouth. That looks good. Mouth vertical. Oh. Hmm. Oh, nose size. Do I want to be a big sniffer or a little sniffer? Maybe right over there is good. Nose tilt. High or low hanging. Maybe somewhere right here. Width. Oh. Not gonna be too picky about these. I mean, honestly, I could spend like a long time on this. But 
you know, for the interest of time, I'm not gonna do anything as well. My like puffy cheeks are kind of like reduced cheeks. There we go. All right, next should be. Oop. So this was face. I've done gender, face, hair, and features. Age. I can be older or super young person. Scars. Got like a. Ooh. Intimidating. Ooh. -hoo. Claw marks. Joker smile. A little slash across the right cheek. Burn marks. Claw marks, I think. Ooh, ooh, that's that's kind of sinister. That's like someone tried to assassinate you. Uh, this maybe looks like radiation. This is a lot of fighting. So, I'm gonna go with the scratch mark. That looks cool. Dirt. Do I want to be dirty? Or do I want to be clean? Steam clean. Oh, coal miner. Um, someone who spent the day out in the field working. This almost looks like military, like, camo. Uh... You, like, you're, like, wearing goggles, and then there's, like, a lot of dust around your face. This looks like you've just been rolling around in the dirt, and this one, too. This one looks like you, like, had a lot of dirt, and then you, like, wiped your brow. Didn't get everything off. So, nine looks good. Or the slight military camo one. Which was number four. So, four or nine. So, we got this. I like four. Four looks more natural. Makeup. Do I want to have... Oh, there's like little... Some little blush and lipstick. Pink lips. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a lot of makeup. 41? Jeez. Oh, wow. Okay, do I want to be God of War? Um, Like Apocalypto Warrior cult member brawler got into a big fight oh this is permanent nosebleed drool this this just looks like you're you're sick 29 hmm a lot of freckles freckles like almost like a bad case of sunburn right here i'm at 18 minutes and i'm still customizing my character <laughs> Uh, this is for someone who has a uh, vitiligo, I think that's how you pronounce it. If I pronounce that wrong, um, I'm sorry, please correct me. So, two cases of that, that's really cool. Um, because people like to see themselves represented. Um, this is like, like futuristic makeup, this is like goth. Whoa. Oh, these lower ones aren't for me. So seven looks like a good natural one, or I could get something up here, which is there's one where like the person just looked perpetually sick, which I think is kind of funny. No, did I miss it? Where was it? Pretty sure it was somewhere up here. It's not that. Not that. I guess it was this one, but it looks like it's more so just like a bruise over the over the nose, the eye, left eye. This one might look like the more sick one. More of the discoloration goes to your other eye and then the nose. Okay. Well, it also stays on the eyes. One. Six. We'll just go with six. Hair. Oh my god. Entire episode is going to be customization. So, face your hair color. I need a half facial hair to get a color. 
So, I can have a beard if I want on a female character. Um, that's fine. <laughs> this actually looks pretty... <laughs> this actually doesn't look too bad. As I, in real life, cannot grow facial hair, I will not put any facial hair on. But then again, I'm not a girl, but... Girls are pretty. So, eyebrow styles... Unibrow, shaved, kind of bushy, more unibrow, like soft, wait, I like this one, so 14, remember 14, 14 and 18 look good, We'll go 26. Hair color. Whoa. Wait. Hairstyle first. Always hairstyle. I wish I could bring my character's head down so I can like look more look more closely to the hair. So this is like a buzz cut. This is like you're balding. Nice mohawk. This is like a greaser hairstyle. I don't even know how to describe this. But it's like slicked back. This is kind of like short oh this is this looks very formal I look like a space commander now but I want to make a character who is a bit younger so a younger style this looks like bad scientist oh pull down femme hair oh this look whoa I like this 14 remember that This is, uh, some dreadlocks, mohawk, backwards bun. This looks like a Star Wars character now. Eight. This is Bangalore from Apex. Five. This is really funky. Do none of these characters have ponytails? It's all tied up, huh? Well, I'm going to go with... 14. This looks good. Hair color! Ho ho ho! Start over here. This is like a red. Purple, orange. This is like a blue hint. Purple. Kind of hard because you know it's kind of like dark at the top side of your screen and you can't push your character down to like get a better look. This is just straight green. And up here you get some like graying hairs, or it gets more silver. Yeah, I'm having a real hard time to, like, see, like, what it would look like in, like, natural, full flat lighting, which is kind of hard to tell from here. We're gonna go with this. Just quickly scan through here to see if there's any other hairstyles. One also just looks pretty good. Just almost like an androgynous haircut. But I had 14. I think up here is like where I just get like hairstyles where I'm not really into. So 14 or 1. 1 seems too basic though, so let's give our character a little bit more spice. And face. Eye color. Do I want to 
stick with this. I'm just gonna like browse through here and see what strike what comes out as like. Ooh, that's pretty. Or green. So there's green. Down here is like more. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. 11. Eleven and six look nice. Eleven six twenty. Okay, so twenty blue eyes. This is someone when you look at like wow, you you go straight to their eyes. There was eleven, which is more neutral. And then there's six, which is more naturalistic. Alright, so it's 11 or 20. Do I want to be like white eyed and kind of like mysterious? Or do I just want to have like deep blue eyes? Let's change things up. Let's go to number 11. I think any other game I would you go for like a normal colored eye, eye pattern. What's your name? What do I want to be called in this new game? Ah, Jesus. I don't know. Space's choice is dying to meet you. What is your name? You know what? Keep it simple. Penny. Everything here looks good. Only took like 30 minutes. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. So it looks like he only had time to free one, and that was his goal. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> oh. Initiate skip jump. Terra 2 orbiting laboratory. Status structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. And I think he's thawing me out. I'm out of my pod. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. What? The colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Oh, no. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Yes? I think the game said that we were supposed to complete our jump I in ten years. My chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> So we went from a supposed 10 year journey to 70 years, and it's a bit unsure of why our ship was knocked out of orbit. Was that done on purpose to like save on like transport costs? 
or did Can it just happen by accident? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is. I'm getting Otto. like Bioshock vibes right now. Like, look at, at this old timey text. He's to be um, your uh, chauffeur. So text to box down here at the bottom, and I'm also the the special. font choice. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Hmm. To skip, hold, enter? Hell no. go stepping out into the world oh, for the first time you landed good Hawthorne should be close by what in law's name is that him oh no oh, that idiot I told him to plant the beacon and move away not stand there holding it oh well no sense in letting his ship go to waste what he literally just Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship better you than the board huh Really? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Spacebar. Jump. Wow, this is very pretty, and... I noticed, like, a frame rate drop when I was, like, gapping out. It was a bit choppy, but whoa, look at this. This is running pretty smoothly, I think. Control. And to sneak. Shiny. Hello. To sneak and avoid detection. Getting some enemies on my radar. Marauder thug. Okay, so those are wildlife enemies. The awareness meters over enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Oh, uh, so it looks like the Marauder was killed by the wildlife. Almost spotted me there. Frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Ouch. You have low health. Use the emergency medicinal inhaler to heal. One Adrena. Alright, so my health bar is the red bar up there. And I have space bar times two. Okay, so that's like my avoiding, and I think I have 10 Adrenas, which is like the little medkit thingy. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Minnesota 5, sit still, I'll patch you up. What happened to you? Spacer's point. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Spacer's Choice is probably the company that he's working with. That's the history. Interesting. How are you feeling? What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. So they're probably like a, a peacekeeping force or like private security. Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. 
That's a real good way to attract marauders. Man, that's probably See our those ride. canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Persuade, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun, and I'll go get help. Lie, someone grinded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. Intimidate, you're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Let's try persuading him. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All spacers' choice weapons Light are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacers' choice. Yes, nailed it that time. He's trying to like nail like the company catchphrase even when like gravely wounded. Not gravely wounded, but injured. Can you tell me where I am? Do you know anything about the hope? The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. He's always like marketing something. That's so weird. So, left click is attack. I could shoot these barrels to blow that area. Oh, I did not want to do that. Okay, so yeah, I have nine Altruna, I think that's what it was called. Damage my ears! Sorry. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Gourmet Saltuna fillets. I. Oh, TNL weapons safety training, weapon management. You have four weapons equipped at any time by dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, so they'll take care of your enemies. All right, that is my character. So I have a saber. One, two, three, four. I have zero heavy ammo and zero energy ammo, but I have 101 spaces choice uh, light rounds. Armor management. Drag your armor helmet items up here to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here, break them down, inspect them, blah, blah, blah. I've got this equipped. Consumables. Adreno. This is the medical inhaler. So Adreno is heals 25% health over two seconds, last two seconds. For life's little ouchies. Okay. Can I eat this? Not sure. Hmm. Modifications, general, quests, and junk. Gonna take some getting used to. Hawthorne ship, right over there. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the uh, tactical time dilation TT buttons slow down, slows, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. Okay, so there's like a nice uh, science -y explanation. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TDD meter very slowly, while moving and refer while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Tactical time dilation. So that is Q. Marauder Vandal. Gotcha. Nice. You have nothing on you. Bit cartridge, thinking cap, let, light ammo, hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places 
You're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Re raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Pick a mag pick. Mock apple. Bunch of nanners. These are like bananas, but funky. Mag pick. So I get two. This requires five. I have 12 out of 5 of the mm, shunts. Those like regular circle thingies. I think those are the... Um, I already forgot the name for them. Magpick. So I need 4 of them to open this box. Fish sticks. Interesting. But I guess I gotta come back. Gunplay feels pretty smooth. <laughs> Bit cartridge and sentry saber. Could probably break that down. Light ammo, skin tough salve, light pistol. I did not do a good job of tracking where I dropped all those bodies. Um... Shoot. Well, there's two that I took care of up right here. Alright. I'm noticing things are a bit choppy. Well, that's that's fine. Here is our ship. Two marauders down there. Private Kimball, Lieutenant Mercer. Ah, oh, these are probably hey, the friends. Get over here before you get yourself killed. Hello. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gull on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation, let it go. So I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. Really? We'll oh see my him God. back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Why are you... Just, oh my God. You know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Everything they talk is just like corporate bullshit. Persuade 5. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? Oh, I could get them to like aggro for me. Lie. I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Intimidate. I guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer, customer satisfaction survey. Um, don't worry. You sit tight. I'll handle it. I could do this. Or I could do this, gain some XP, and then have them use their ammo. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But... Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. Okay. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Alright, call me horses. There she goes. I just earned a fine bonus. Wow. Can it meet? Good cartridge, Adreno. 
another sentry saber. Uh, so inventory. I have two sabers. So this is 73 DPS. Do these things degrade over time? Light pistol, light pistol. Spacer's choice, spacer's choice. Um, I could break these down. Weapon parts returned. I could sell this. Maybe. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. <laughs> Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. I'm not a marauder. Oh, I need two more to break this. Shoot. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Well, you're telling me what I can do and what I can't do. <laughs> the workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip-top shape at all times. I'm combat ready, as Penny. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do with it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod or a tinker to upgrade it. Sawed-off shotgun. I have a lot of space rounds, so I think this is the one that I have equipped. Tinker? Repair? Okay. So you definitely do have to repair. Damage is 20 to 20, but if I repair this, damage goes from 8 to 14. Your weapon parts, I have 21. Requires 18. Sure, why not? We'll do a quick scan of the uh, the ship, and then we'll head Please over to that marker. Please be advised that using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. <laughs> it's basically telling me what to do. Character respecification: choosing to respec funds all of your spent skills and perk points. Then you can spend them in a different way. The price to respec will increase each time you use the machine. All right, so you can't just um, it's five hundred bits. Refund all of your skill and perk points? No. How many bits do I have? Is that like the currency in this game? Uh, these are weapon pieces. I think these are my bits. 14, 14, 14 kilograms out of 100. I think that's my currency. Journal. Stranger in a strange land. Marauder. Please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Requires power... Marauder, please be informed this ship does not possess a working power regulator for you to steal. Huh, okay. Pretty sure you're lying to me, so I'll just go and find it. Wait, there is a second pair of stairs. Quickly explore up. Anything up here? Seal. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. <laughs> Thank you, Ada. Lager. Lager. Lager, lager. Gourmet saltuna fillets. I'll take that. Yeah, this is definitely like Bioshock Fallout. Marauder, please be informed the ship has no crew for you to murder. <laughs> I'm not going to murder anyone. Just going to head back over. Unauthorized here. access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, Marauder. the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment. 
and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? She's probably going to do that. I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating okay, dishonesty. dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Oh no. Register procedures initiated. Disengage the airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five. Oh no. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. <laughs> I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a mean thing to say. Your captain's a red smear to my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh... Okay, I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? Engineering 5. I don't have this skill, but I'm going to try it anyways. Astutely observed. However, oh. the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement Falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. So I just gotta High look for a uh, settlement. Are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. <laughs> the Do Unreliable. You yeah, Ada, I got it. Thanks, Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Level 2! Auntie Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill melee improves all of the specialized skills. And then I group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Reach each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. You've been promoted, level up. Points available. Selecting perks. Welcome to the perk selection. On this screen you can choose which perks to buy. With your perk points, you get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes you makes the next tier of perks available to you. So five base armor rating. Um, a few bits more. Vendors and vending machines have additional ammo, consumables, and general items available. Okay, so that's if I want to buy stuff. Carrying capacity, tactical time dilation recharge rate. Eh. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. From companion kills. Ooh. Vendor prices down. I like that. Companion crit chance. Weapon durability loss, sprint speed, walk speed, damage when alone in a party, base health. We're going to go with vendor prices. Skills. Wait. Oh, I need to apply. Yes. Skills, I have 10 points. Um... 
leadership one, two. X to revert. So melee, I I'm just not a melee guy. Like I love using guns, so like why why use melee? I mean heavy weapon. Ranged. Do one here, two, one in defense, one in dialogue, one in stealth. Tech is important. Leadership is two. Let's do another one in leadership. Two more. Um, dialogue, tech, reply, time dilation lo location hits, you have unlocked location hit effects for tactical time dilation, hitting enemies in different locations during TTD maims or cripples those bodies parts, uh, try different locations to see different effects, hits to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked a combat a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Uh I'm kind of being bombarded by all this new information. It's a lot to take in. Okay, but the next thing that we gotta do. Oh, they're gonna be writing up a Say, report. This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Do you take down payments in wanton violence? Oh my god. You've got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. I don't have a job. I'll wave your fee since you helped us with those marauders. If you're looking for work, talk to the constable down in Edgewater. She's got a bounty on marauders. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. I mean... I could murder these guys. And then, like, not have to pay the fee. Oh, did they just go into my ship now? Oh, she's still there. And I could save at any time. Well, don't want to be an asshole, even though that they are like corporate schmucks. Okay, so we have these two. No point in having this. I'm probably either going to break this down or sell it. So one is a handgun control and block. Most melee weapons can perform three swing combos. All melee weapons can block. One. One, two, three. 138. Okay. So the shotgun also uses light ammo. Whoa, look at this. Uh-oh. Resident. Sentry Saber. It's an eight round shotgun. Rebuilt mining gear. Here we go, Edgewater. Graves. Epitaph pending calculation. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> 
everything's a catchphrase with these people. Never got your name, I'm Penny. Lie, nice to meet you. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. And Name Alex Silas. is like a unisex name, Junior so it works. Humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. This place looks like it's falling to pieces. Junior and Humor. Fancy title for a grave digger. Wow, dick move. Definitely not the Junior and Humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I do what I want. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. <laughs> Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting what? means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. You have to rent graves? What? You're making people pay for their own graves? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. All right, I'll collect your fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? This town must be in pretty bad shape if you're constantly digging graves, yeah. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. Oh, there's There's plague. Long. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. I should go. I can really go for some salt too. I can really go for some salt tuna. Really? You guys are so basic. Edgewater Employment Community. This does not look that welcoming. Okay, so if I look at my quests... Journal. Small grave matter, stranger in a strange land. Find a power regulator. Reed Tobson is in charge of Edgewater. He might be able to help you find the part of the ship. Reed Tobson. Small grave matter. And then I can... Late on their pain. Steel. Anyone in here? Is there like a karma system in this game? Bunch of ammo. Heavy ammo. Guess not. Maybe, maybe something bad will happen if I get caught. Music box is worse. Is worth 13 bits. Bypass shunt. Ooh, that's important. I have a lot of the shunts, but not of like the uh, the, uh, the lock picks. 
bit cartridge. Five. Adreno. Sorry, whoever lives here. I've got important things to do. Steal a shovel. Why the hell not? Normally, I don't like to be a dick in this in in these sorts of games, so I'll try not to be that kind of person. Transition to Edgewater. Oh, so this is just like the front. So then, like, exam. Early retirement. Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of Byzantium? Early retirement is finally here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. Select selection for the early retirement process is by lottery. Winners enjoy an all-expense-paid trip to their new life in Byzantium, the Jewel of Halcyon. Okay. Did this... Is this, like, not locked? I'm just gonna steal all your shovels. 13 and 15. Riot control helmet. Ooh, yes. Mag pick. Bit cartridge. Still not enough. But I think I do have enough to open up the one that's upstairs. Because I just picked up two. I'm just gonna rob this guy. Uh, hold. Can I choose what thing I want to use? Wait, this is only the uh, ma the mag picks because like I think the shunts are for like electronic thingies. Criminal activities, trespassing, lock picking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Ah, can't see. Do not look at me. Heavy ammo, energy cell, light ammo, speed grip, tech kit, bit cartridge. Finally making some money. No one saw me. 100% discreet. Yeah, looks like I gotta go in now. Transition to Edgewater. Emerald Vale. That is pretty artwork. Alrighty, Edgewater discovered, 600 XP, cool. Cantina specials, live music when available. Day old Saltuna, two bits off. Fascinating. Gyro sight, ranged weapon mod sight increases weapon accuracy. Just out in the open for me to take, nice. Hello, stranger. Corporate guard. They start asking you for some medicine. Come tell me. I'll set them straight. Ow. Oh. Okay, then. So, this is active right now. Is this active? Press type. Change sorting. Set active. Oh, I gotta press it twice. Small grave matter. So, ooh. There was someone back here. I'll, I'll get to them later. There's someone in this building. I'm not gonna steal in front of you. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Conrad said. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Okay. I can show you my hand. Do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? Relax and clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. Really? You will also report to me in the event of your death. 
whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. How the hell am I supposed to tell you I'm dead? Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. What does it even mean? I don't understand a word you said. I mean that I can't possibly pay my gravesite fees. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care, pay up. You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. That's some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. Uh... Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction, with my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Oh. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. You could be a total dick and just like force him to pay up everything. You know, but like when you actually like further explore his like dialogue options, you like find out that he's not a bad guy and he's just trying really hard to like make ends meet. You're dead, so <laughs> Light Assault. Ooh, Spacer's Choice Guard. Scientist, Bit Cartridge, Light Ammo, Adrena, Light Pistol. Thank you, thank you. Letter from Phyllis, Conrad. Reception has shot himself. This is bad. Company's gonna have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing this body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Huh. Receptionist shot himself. Nothing's in the fridge. Brain sitting out here. Who's brain? Totally did not steal anything in your workshop. Goodbye. Okay, so that's one. Well, it's still marked because I, I still have to continue to like shake him down or something. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. Don't let the boss catch you saying that. Mm-hmm. Constable. Oh, the law. Steel energy cell. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing a promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Really? Everyone has a fucking catchphrase. It's like... <laughs> This is, this is, yeah, this is probably, like, the essence of the game, that everything is just, like, so based in the idea of, like, capitalism and, like, selling and profit that it's just like, ingrained in everyone's attitude. Um, if you need help with your marauder problem, I'm for hire. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? 
I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Okay. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Really? Um, does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? He's a scientist we're acquainted. Let's not go with this. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Looks like there's a bounty on his head. He kidnapped me, unfroze my body, and shot me into space. Then I landed here. Oh my god, that's, that's going to raise suspicion. You're correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas V. Wells. Uh, alright. I'm not going to push any further. I can just walk into your jail cell? What? Not very secure if I can open it and close it from the inside. What? <laughs> Lady, what kind of jail are you running here? <laughs> this is so funny. You're... Don't you have like an armory for this? Why is it not secure? Bounty records. Open bounties. Query. Guillaume Antrim. Background. Former Spacer's Choice Associate Mechanic. Terminator from his position. Constable's Memorandum. Memorandum. The Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement, Termination, and Restitution has filed the writ of execution for Guillaume Gil Antrim, effective immediately. Some of you may remember Gil Atrim from his days in the cannery. Please be advised that Spacer's Choice no longer recognizes Mr. Antrim as a member of its valued family. Spacer's Choice advises its workers in good standing to remain in good standing by disabusing themselves of any sympathy, allegiance, or memory towards Mr. Antrim. Generous bounty, payment on delivery, must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. Interesting. I'm not going to read all these. I've been feeling pretty low these days. Got any trash for me? Ooh. Nope. I'm certainly learning that it pays off to, like, explore the backs of houses. Because there's, like, some junk there that apparently no one knows about. Use workbench. Modifications. I have... Jesus. Can I... I, have so... I, need, I need to, like, break some of these down or sell them. Before I, like, actually work on anything. Trouble ticket. Trouble ticket. Priority. Trouble ticket. Summary. Failure of main cannery production line at, heart, at heat processing. I don't know what this is. Hello? Anyone home? Mag 2 power. Well, it's not giving me like a steel option, so is this house like vacated or something? Shunt. Energy cell. Okay, looking good, looking good. Bypass shunt. Is there anyone here? That will hurt me a little bit. Okay. Alright. Someone out here. Ludwig Miller Silas. Saltuna Cannery. The only source of protein a busy worker needs. 
They're trying to monopolize, like, food. Wait, is there someone out here then? Uh, it was pointing me outside the settlement because apparently that's Silas. Temporary. You have to rent your gravesite. It's not even something that you buy when you're dead. Like, you have to continue to rent it, like insurance. And then when you're dead, then that's when you're insured. Uh, that that's uh, when you're. Um, you're. Uh, what am I trying to say? It's like when your money finally pays. Okay, so this is silent. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? You just talked to me. We need to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? You first. I know you buried him. Digging him up for his gold teeth. Or maybe I could do that and get his teeth. I don't know. I already took his own life. Left a sorry mess behind. I slashed 5% off his burial fees on account of him missing half his head. It was the least I could do. Wow, real kind of you. You don't think his working conditions had anything to do with it? I suppose we could have given him more work to do. It's like the company always tells us. Work fortifies our spirit. Bullshit. Listen, what happened with Eugene ain't exactly my purview. I'm no alienist. Do I tell him about the gold teeth, or is that something that I can dig up on my own? Steel shovel in plain sight. All right, uh, so. Can I, like, move these down? I can't. So I'm just gonna put... Assault rifle. And I have one of everything. I have so many shovels. Spade, sentry, saber. Shovel, shovel, spade. 62 compared to 42 DPS going to break this down for weapon parts. Guess that works. 15 and then like 109 bit. So there's Phyllis, Conrad, and Martin. And then the other guy was like known to just be out and about. Ludwig. Let's try and track this guy down. Oh right, he was he was known to be in the landing pad. Ouch. Oh ooh. Edgewater landing pad discovered. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I think you have me confused for someone else. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. <laughs> sure. Are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. I don't know what you're talking Just about. Just my luck. I asked for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? 
cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? <laughs> Am I just like selling my soul to like so many different people? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Persuade five. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yes. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. <laughs> 75 bit cartridges. Nice. What do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. I could use a point of, a couple pointers if I'm gonna go after this mechanical scout. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um, the blue glowy square thing. Blue glowy square thing, got it. Alrighty. Pretty cool. Gonna head back into Edgewater. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice! Ugh, marketing bullshit. It's so annoying. Okay. So we have now picked up a lot of small side quests, and then there is a task, which is not to be confused with a side quest. Fistful of digits. Die, robot. So Fistful of Digits is maybe like a reference to the movie Fistful of Dollars, the like Clint Eastwood Western. But we're gonna go back to Stranger in a Strange Land, um, which should point us to right over here. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Alrighty. So uh, this looks like where we're gonna get that electrical modulator for our ship. It's like somewhere in here. Uh, hello, corporate trooper. You're safer inside the walls. No one gonna talk to me about anything. Vendor, taste the freedom with Spacer's Choice! Spacer's Choice automated sales units, vending machines. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. <laughs> Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with the associated faction, or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Restricted items on a vendor. Whoa. 20% discount, nice. You have not upgraded your hack skill. Got some weapons here, armor. Oh, these are these are restricted. I could buy these, yeah, but I'm not not like with the uh, with the faction. Town leader. I guess I have to like talk to him over the radio or something. But anyways, this is my first episode of uh, The Outer Worlds. This is really interesting. I might lower the graphical settings a little bit just to get like a higher consistent frame rate. Um, but so far, so 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 far, so good. Um, characters are interesting. Uh, the design is great. Combat feels smooth. So this is a very solid first impression of this new game that I'm trying out. And uh, yeah. Having a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Outer Worlds. Until then, avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Ah, I can't see. Yes. Do not look at me. <laughs>